Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. So, uh, today we'll talk about uh, first uh, big data tool we'll deal with, it, and that is Scoop. Uh, so, Scoop is used for importing data from relational database system like MySQL to Hadoop cluster. So, this data could be imported uh, into HDFS, which we have already talked about, or to uh, Hadoop native uh, database called Hive. And also we can do the opposite, we can take data from Hadoop cluster and export it to MySQL database. Uh, so today we'll just start by importing data from MySQL database to HDFS. Uh, so if you haven't seen our previous videos related to HDFS commands, that's the right time to do that. Also don't forget to subscribe to not miss any videos. Also would recommend to bookmark our blog available at blog.dataguru.guide okay so there you could find all articles which usually ac uh, accompany each our video but okay let's get started so we have just started our Clojure VM I would also recommend to start two terminals uh, in the first one, we'll interact with MySQL, and in another one, we'll write uh, uh, scoop-related commands. Uh, uh, so, first of all, uh, a few words about scoop, as such. Uh, okay, so scoop, that's a Apache project, so it's completely free. And its website could be found under Apache org uh, domain. So here you can find any documentation you need and so on. Uh, so just don't forget to visit it. Uh, a lot of useful information and common rel uh, command related stuff could be found here. Scoop version 1, Scoop version 2. So today we'll talk about Scoop uh, first version. Uh, so here documentation is available. So we need Scoop user guide. And here you can find examples of the commands and so on. Uh, so basically uh, Scoop is a command line tool. Right, and so basically, our interaction with Scoop will be related to uh, writing and running some uh, commands in terminal. Uh, so first of all, let's look at our MySQL database, so which is shipped together with Clojure VM. In order to start a MySQL session, let's type MySQL. Uh, minus u root minus p. So that means that we start our MySQL uh, client using user root and we want to enter our password interactively. Uh, and as usual all passwords which are required for Cloudera VM are set to Cloudera. Okay, so we are in MySQL. Uh, let's let's look around what we have. So just a reminder: using command show databases, we can see all databases defined in our uh, database system. Okay, so we can see that we have uh, twelve databases. Also, if you are not familiar with MySQL, don't be afraid, we are also going to create a couple of videos related to MySQL, so you'll be familiar with SQL syntax, how it's used, for, uh, for what is used and so on. So 
that will be available very soon on our channel so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe okay so we have uh, 12 databases uh, let's let's for example use uh, retail DB uh, so in this command we tell our database management system that all other commands we are going to type will be related to this particular database in our case that's retail DB let's see which tables are defined here okay six six tables let's take the first one and see what do we have here if any okay excellent we have 58 rows okay that would be enough for us okay so right now we know that uh, in our MySQL uh, we have a database retail DB in which we have uh, in particular table categories in which we have some data okay so let's uh, let's export uh, data from this table categories to our Hadoop cluster okay so as it was mentioned before scoop its uh, command line tool so let's write our our command so we start with scoop import because there is uh, also a command scoop export if you want to export uh, data from uh, Hadoop to MySQL so we want to import data so import export it's related to uh, Hadoop yeah so if we import we import data to Hadoop if we write export we export data from Hadoop to MySQL so now we import data to Hadoop so scoop import uh, then we specify uh, connection options connect so we provide address GDBC so we tell to scoop that we want to use uh, Java database connector in order to connect to our external system then we specify protocol in our case it's MySQL then we specify server name in our case that's localhost slash and database name retail DB okay that's fine then we specify uh, then we specify username username which is root in our case let's also specify password password which is Clodera okay in, in reality of course it's not recommended uh, to ship username and password in clear way uh, so it's more recommended to use not username and password options here but just a capital P option uh, and that means that you specify your password interactively uh, when you actually import and exp or export data that is the recommended way how this should be done okay um, table so this parameter should be specified only if we want to export a particular table from the given database in our case yes we want okay table categories let's specify also target deer so uh, that the directory on HDFS in which we want to import data one important moment here this uh, folder should not exist uh, so if uh, such folder already exists on HDFS during import will get some some exception uh, okay test import and the last parameter how many uh, streams we want to have and that is specified by M so if we use only one uh, like in our case we don't need to specify anything else if we specify for example two that means that we want to uh, import data in parallel using two streams then we should specify some additional options and about that we'll talk in upcoming videos so right now 
you want to do that only using one stream okay press enter and so scoop will start now okay it will check some parameters some uh, some variables whether they are specified or not we could okay so now uh, based okay let's see what is the exception uh, okay uh, table retail DB categories doesn't exist uh, interesting let's see uh, retail DB retail DB and categories ah okay so I have a typo here in table name categories okay let's correct it okay uh, so that's one of uh, actual advantages of scoop that uh, the errors it throws out are quite meaningful uh, so reading these errors you uh, can actually quite easily understand what went wrong yeah. okay so minus p so it recommends not to ship password directly like we did but specify minus p instead so it will be entered dynamically when we import our data so based on our command scoop generated SQL query which is used for uh, exporting data from MySQL so now it starts okay it could take a while okay so as you see number of splits is one like we specified here so if we wanted to split uh, import into multiple multiple streams we could do that and we'll do that in upcoming videos but in that case we should specify a column uh, by which we split data right we'll talk about that in more details later on okay so let's wait a bit so as you see the job has been started okay so map reduce so what it is about uh, you will read in our blog available at blog.dataguru.guide uh, this article should be available on Thursday so after two days and there we'll talk about in details what this actually map reduce means what it is for and so on okay 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 and as you see retrieved uh, 58 records uh, if we compare to what we got from select statement 58 okay so seems that we have exported what we wanted let's check user Clodera test import let's see what we have under this folder okay so as you see we have two files one is a file with actual data let's check what it contains actually and another one is just underscore success and uh, that is a commonly used uh, file uh, or called flag which is used to indicate whether a Hadoop process has been uh, has been completed and completed successfully so if you see such file that means that the process which actually generated all other files completed successfully okay so using cat command we just list the content of that file okay so as you see uh, data has been successfully uh, imported from mysql okay and as you see comma is used as a 
field separator. Of course, this parameter can be changed and we'll talk about scoop in more details in the next video available on Saturday. But for today that would be all. Thanks to all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Post any comment if you have any questions or you have uh, suggestions or whatever. And don't forget to visit our blog available at blog.dataguru.guide where you can find an article related to this video in which we discuss some theory related to scooping more details. Other than that, thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.